Hi there dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I have some information on workplace noise uh, the, and how it affects the consciousness. Um, and I'd like you to know that this is intuitive like channeling and not necessarily scientific fact. So if you think it, there might be some truth in it, then the thing to do is do some research on your own. I was just in a place and uh, at, the, at a counter and I noticed that the young person that was on the other side of the counter that was taking my order, there was a disconnect in his mind. He seemed very bright and fine in his men mental mind, but there was a disconnect in his mind where he couldn't quite hear what I was saying, even though I was speaking sufficiently loud. And he would say things that didn't make much sense. In other words, uh, there was a kind of a chaotic uh, disconnect happening over and over again in his mind. That was very interesting. So after the order had been taken, I took a look and I found out that just behind him in his workplace was a machine that was making a noise and rapidly repeating low machine noise, which I've taken a picture of for you. Intuitively, I feel that it was this sound that was somehow interrupting his neuronal signals. And I equate it also intuitively with strobe light. You know those strobe light effects where there's a rapidly changing um, light is switching on and off and how that interferes with brain function as well and can bring on some kind of... Um, is it catatonic attacks or like that? I'll look it up for you. It can bring on, that can bring on um, physical problems in some people, sudden physical problems. So uh, it, it, the strobe lights interfere somehow with n neuronal signals. And I think this, this, you know, light and sound are like two, um, are close together in what how they affect the, the human DNA. Uh, sound is more like a stepped down, down version or tool that is used to work on light, which is our DNA. And so um, sound is important and light is equally important in optimizing uh, the manifestation of our DNA in the third dimension. So. Um, There is this thing called malware, which was over the long dark gauge that we recently endured as the human race was inserted by any number of uh, uh, negative astral beings into our um, electromagnetic fields, our um, etheric nets, and so forth. And uh, this, these. Um, Malware bugs in the light channels of our like, blueprint of life, uh, physical life on Earth. They uh, they also represent a kind of um, mm, a sound obstruction, uh, a little like this repeating sound that that you just heard from the machine. Uh, except that there may be, until recently, because there's been a great cleanse of malware going on with the incoming light, which is supposed to be increasing uh, quite a bit this coming year, has been increasing every year since 2012. And so, without our actually being aware of the great bulk of it, a great deal of malware has been eliminated from our energy fields. Now to go on with, about this malware, to me it seems in a way to be an interruption a sound, of sounds that um, interferes with the function of our DNA. And uh, that, I say that because I can hear it. To me the clear hearing field is, it makes it very clear that of the people that I encounter all kinds of um, repeating uh, static-like um, newospheric messages are going on here and there in their energy fields everywhere actually and also that in general they're not aware of them.
know what to do about this. It occurs to me that the playing of melodious, um, chime-like instrumental music, or Tibetan bowls, playing of tones, or sounding of tones, uh, with human vocal instrument, uh, would, would help to um, disintegrate this malware because the tone of the um, of the music or the or the human toning that we do would um, would it's hard to explain the the waveforms of the sounds in the malware uh, would be first interfered with and then uh, broken down and disintegrated by these random melodious sounds uh, that we would be hearing, which explains the um, popularity of this kind of uh, instrumental uh, CD. I heard a live performance of this piece called Savasana Bowls Live by Michael Perricone. P-E-R-R-I-C-O-N-E -E. and, and it well, did an amazing job of breaking up malware. So apparently that's the function of this type of music is that it can uh, interfere with and overcome the, the noise interference that prevents us from optimal mental performance and prevents our DNA from fully, fully expressing itself. So there's a thought. And uh, y'all take care, and I'll talk to you another time. The other thing about music is that it attracts uh, the members of the Davic realm. Nature spirits absolutely adore music. And so they'll come flocking around if we're playing music or singing. And the djinn as well, those very powerful beings of the deserts and the Ifrit, uh, they are lulled to sleep by music. Now, the nature spirits are the natural enemies of the demon realm. And so, where they flock to, if it's in our presence, in our home, or around our person, there will for sure be no members of the negative astral realm. It cannot be. They go flying off in a dither and, and the nature spirits go chasing them happily like a children's game. They chase them away. Ah, ah there you go. Ah, 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 like that. <laughs> and, and the negative astral beings will go, all right, I'm leaving. I'm going. <laughs> and so and so when we play music or listen to music we've, we're achieving a number of very good things we're destroying the malware that has been placed in our energy fields by the negative astral beings we're attracting the natural and sworn enemies of the of the astro, negative astral beings the uh, nature spirits, the David realm, and all those wonderful beings, the elementals, and and we're lulling the jinn, those powerful beings of the desert, and their children. They fall asleep for a little, for the length of time that we're listening to or playing the music. I do feel, intuitively feel, that this is the time. Right now is the time for the new age of music to begin. So, if you have a musical instrument, why not pick it up and play it? If you love music of a melodious, peaceful variety, why not play that in early morning or in the evening or while you're sleeping? Why not fill our lives with music right now and see what happens? What miracles await us in new creation for the new human on this great new planet Earth? <laughs>